UK economy over the last 12 months has grown by just 0.5 per cent compared with the growth of 3 per cent in the 12 months before that. So uh, there's not very much good news in the numbers out today. And of course, the Office of Budget Responsibility are forecasting now that economic growth is going to weaken as we go into 2012 with unemployment continuing to rise from 2.6 million where it is today, rise during 2012 and into 2013 as well. So I don't think the outlook is, is particularly encouraging for businesses and families who are already facing a huge squeeze in their living standards, high unemployment and also a large number of business failures. And if you look at all of the major industrialised economies, the seven um, most industrialised economies, only Japan and Italy grew at a slower rate than the UK in the last 12 months. So there is something significant going on in the UK. And Labour have argued for, for, for a year and a half now that the decisions that the government took to cut as far and as fast as they decided to do so jeopardised the economic recovery, which is why we've seen over the last year growth flatline, unemployment rise, and also, of course, borrowing now expected to be £158 billion more than the government previously anticipated. Because the reality is, if you've got unemployment rising, if you've got businesses failing, and if you've got the economy flatlining, it makes it harder to reduce the deficit because you end up paying out more in benefits and you get less in in tax revenue.